Well now, this place looks a mite familiar. Aye, it's these funny wee buildings. We've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows, we might find something interesting. doesn't it? Hmm? It reminds me of something. Ah, of course. I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time, beings born from the land, beings who control time. Spirits of lost time? Could they be these figures in the painting? 
According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored how, exactly? You mean like, brought back to life? Wait, if that was true, then maybe, or just maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. Veronica! Do you really think we could... bring her back? Well, what else does it say about this light? Light lives in Tower's heart. Sacred Tower. Tower of Lost Time. Watchers guard Wheel of Time. Key to Tower. Key to Time. Key brings spirits, sets wheels in motion. Hmm. So if we had the Wheel of Time, we might... We might really be able to... What have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? <laughs> Eric's right. No matter how unlikely it is, if it might be our chance to see her again, we simply have to try. Mm -hmm. But the Watchers are all gone, right? So, how do we find this wheel thingy? This was once one of their islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? Time. Honey, you are just too good at this. So, if I understood that book correctly, the wheel will bring the spirits of lost time to the tower they mentioned. But where might this tower be found? No likely candidates spring to mind. Matter, darling. You got an idea where the place we're looking for might be? I thought of something. There's an old tower north of Yggdrasil I always wondered about. Unless anyone's got any better ideas, what say we climb aboard our friendly whale and see what we can see up there?
like we found the right tower. I wonder if these spirits have lost time are here already. Come on, laddie. Let's head on in and see what we can see. intruding, but we heard there might be a rather special light here in the tower that can... well, that can... 
bring people back. We've lost someone very special, you see, and... Well, we were hoping you might be able to help us. You speak of time's sphere. If you were to harness its power, that which you seek might be attained. But to lose time is to lose much. The path you propose to follow is not one to be trodden lightly. To lose time? What do you mean? Time's sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in Erdria since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost time, savored, remembered. To take a sword to the sphere would be to erase those moments to return to the time of the last intact memory. If your companion is to be restored to you, time itself must be destroyed. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. So in order to save Veronica, we would need to... Turn back time. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We'd need to go back to... Aye. We'd need to go back to before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. That wouldn't just save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. It is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. Alas, to lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. The sphere can be broken but once by a single hand, a hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. That of the Luminary. I see you. I know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere, and only with the sword of light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever, trapped in a corner of time. A half-faded memory. <gasps> That's awful! Your present, your companions, your life, 
even all these may be lost to you. Knowing this, are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? Only you can decide. I will await you before the sphere. Sorry, but you simply can't do this. We won't let you. Okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Mm. Hmm. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. The decision is made. Then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much. But some semblance of your present self will remain. Your memories, the record of your adventures thus far. Your knowledge of battle, and all that you have learned. And last of all, the containers that surround the altar. These are the time capsules. These sacred vessels are immune to the flow of time. When you shatter the sphere, all that you possess will be placed within them. Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. Alas, there is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. But you should retain possession of its twin, the Sword of Shadows. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. 
Now you know all that I know. All else is unknowable. When you are ready, join me by the sphere. Step forward, Luminary, and into the past. <laughs> Wait! <gasps> when you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this, I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield. Your unswerving companion. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Now, if I know your grandfather, he'll have a few words to say before you go. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. But it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you, all over again. The time of departure is upon us. Luminary, take the Sword of Light in hand. See you on the other side.
will be waiting for you. Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the Luminary. We of Arboria swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Friends, shipmates, amigos, spar thrust and the rainbow await. Destiny beckons! I don't know how Mordigan's planning on achieving eternal life, but I know one thing. We're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, Serenica, blessed ancestor, the time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, Sage of Legend, lend me your power! Help me fulfill my duty and protect the Luminary! doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? Hmm? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. 
Oh, we were so worried about you. Well, don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! Mm. <laughs>